The flood survivors who were relocated out of community halls towards the end of last year say while their living conditions have improved after being moved to temporary accommodation in the Durban CBD, space remains a concern. They've raised concerns about the lack of privacy with some families sharing the same living spaces. She says we are really not happy about our living conditions here. That's why we are calling on our government to intervene. In some instances, there are three or four families sharing a room. They promise to resolve this and this has never been resolved. One woman was sharing a room with another woman. She had four children, while the other has one child. Children don't understand. They end up taking someone else's food in the fridge. Some people here are using chronic medication, such as ARVs and TB treatment. How do you expect a person with TB to share a room with another family? KwaZulu Natal Premier Nomo Sadobe Ngobe says the current living conditions in these types of flats are far better than those in the community halls. She says the provincial government, along with Etiquini Metro, intends to build permanent homes for flood survivors. Well, there's a, there's a lot of privacy, um, at least here, because uh, families are housed um, in their own uh, rooms. And uh, those that are individual people, sometimes they are paid. Um, but at least it's much, much, much better than where they were before. And these are flats, uh, which is also um, a good thing because they can lock and go and, and visit or go to work. Um, we are, of course, um, wanting to go to the permanent situation um, because this is a temporary residential uh, place. Dube Ngube welcomed ambassadors from countries within the Sadiq region who donated aid to flood survivors. My brother and sister, you are not alone in this challenge, in this difficult time you face. So you have your brother from Angola who is praying for you, your brother from Mauritius, your brother from Madagascar, your brother and sister from Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, Meanwhile, Dube Ngobe says all learners who are affected by the relocation have now been placed in alternative schools, while others are being provided with scholar transport.